In this video I'd like to demonstrate the possibilities of image calculation in the Advanced Studio. So far we have seen the true shade environment within the modeling mode which is available to us to produce reasonably realistic images. But we did not achieve the non plus ultra yet. The image quality in Advanced Studio will be slightly better and later on in the Ray Trace Studio we will receive some really realistic looking images. You can enter this advanced studio via the studio test for example or if you pick one of these system scenes or use the right mouse button hold and then drag it to the upper left. However by just changing the display type there are still relatively few options visualized. With the studio task you get all the options available displayed. Now you can already see the preview improved render or full render or preview render. But display quality setting at this time don't make sense because we haven't defined any settings yet. There's still no background image defined for the mirrored reflections and still no material defined. And accordingly the advantages of the full render mode are not yet visible in comparison to the rest. So let's define a material first of all. I will take a metal, a reflective metal, such as chrome. Then you immediately see that everything is brighter. So chrome is a little brighter from the basic color, but it does not reflect anything here. We still have to enable this in the scene editor. And there is already defined a picture as an environment, as a background image for your reflection. It's a kind of a studio image. I will select an alternative picture from the list. I'll take the picture with the trees, this outside scenario. Here you can see quite well how exactly this reflection will be on the example sphere surface. And you can see a tiny shadow, but nothing else yet. Only if we enable this use real time image based lightning below the tab advanced studio settings, then in fact this kind of lightning in addition to our standard light sources will be enabled. However, currently does not reflect anything. Below the shadow tab we can also set the shadow quality for our advanced studio mode. But that really only affects the shadow quality in this advanced studio. And not the ray trace studio at all. We don't need that right now, so back to the environment. How can we now enable a reflection simulation? Well, there is already a mirroring reflection, I have to say. However, this background image is simply very much washed out. I can adjust the accuracy of the image via the advanced studio settings. And this hemisphere sampling angle has to be adjusted. So I turn it up and down once again. Then you can see that the sphere on which our environment image is reflected is divided into a section of a higher or a lower size. For example, if this sphere is divided into two hemispheres, then the mixture ratio of the color is simply projected onto one sphere and onto the other sphere from this image. If I make this hemisphere sampling angle very small to zero, then this sphere will be split into much more small segments. So much more pixels with individual colors which will be mirrored. But there is still no reflection, because upon here, below lightning image blur, the picture nevertheless is washed out. This is set to medium. And if you set this to none, then your environment image will be displayed completely. And you could now set this to low, then it's just a little washed out, or just wash it out a little more as you desire. I'll select none, confirm it, and you can see what happens when we set our calculation mode to preview render. And you can see shadows yes, mirroring no. This is because this image based lightning in the preview render mode as well as the improved render mode simply has no relevance. So you should basically when working with image based lightning always use the full render mode. And if something should be mirrored make sure you have enabled everything required in the scene editor.
and the accuracy of subdivision of the surrounding sphere to be adjusted as well. In this example, the subdivision is very coarse, as you can see, namely two hemispheres. Then, in fact, they only have two colors that act as a source of light for their objects. The more accurate this value is, the maximum is zero, the finer subdivision you receive. This displays more colors and different light sources or spots for lightning and mirroring.